What's going on, everybody? What's up, you guys? My name is Chloe. And my name is Steph. And welcome to our new YouTube channel, Us and a Frenchie. Us and a Frenchie. So before we get started here today, I just want to say welcome to all of you. We're so happy you're here. This is something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time because we know that there's not a lot of videos out there on making homemade dog food. Um, we would like to make videos about other things too, like lifestyle vlogs and just day in the life, things like that. So if you have any ideas about more content or stuff that you want to see from us, leave us a comment down below. Please make sure to like this video. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of the two of us. Of course. So today's video is going to be about how we make homemade dog food for our one and a half year old French Bulldog named Jackson. Now check this out guys, we will take you through the entire process of how we do it. Starting with preparation, going to the store, gathering all the ingredients, and then coming back, cooking it, and then packaging. So we buy our homemade dog food on a two week basis, so we know the exact amount of ingredients to get to take us through the next two weeks. We will go to the store typically on a Friday, get everything we need, come home, cook it, package it, and store it. I just want to let you guys know in advance that this process does involve using the freezer, so that's why we keep it on a two week schedule because otherwise it becomes a lot of freezer space that you're using. But this recipe is really, really great for any type of dog. It does take into account the nutritional needs for the day so you're making sure that your dog gets the correct amount of protein and vitamins and supplements so we are going to take you guys through all of that this recipe also allows you to switch out the protein or the veggies if you'd like to so feel free to tweak it as long as you're keeping the ratios the same it should be really great for your dog now through the recommendation of our vet she did say to start him off on some kibble and some wet food. However, with Jackson's sensitive stomach, because Frenchy, French Bulldogs are known to have a bit of a sensitive stomach, he didn't really enjoy it that much. He wasn't eating it as much. So we looked through on some Frenchy Facebook groups, some different websites, and we found a homemade recipe that, you know, we decided to try it out with our own variation and our own little twist. He has been loving it. He has thriving. been thriving for the last year. And you know what? We said, you know what? Why don't we just share this for everybody? Because this is something that is so peculiar in a good way and definitely and it's a to be new creative. Phrase. So people are starting to cook for their dogs now, and it's something that people didn't always do. So we did switch Jackson over completely from kibble to this new recipe, and he does absolutely love it. This recipe is great also for those of you who have dogs who are feeding on kibble right now and you're looking to try something new. This is a great recipe because you can literally pick any protein that you want. You can pick any veggies you want as long as you're keeping the ratios consistent. Um, it should be something that your dog really loves and enjoys. So we hope you guys like this and let's get started. Bam! Hey guys, just to pop in real quick, we want to make a little disclaimer and just say always check in with your vet before switching your dog to a brand new food. Um, make sure that your dog doesn't have any food allergies before giving them a certain protein. Jackson we cook with chicken because he does have a very sensitive stomach and we've consulted our vet on this. So we just want to make sure that you don't do anything that's going to hurt your dog in any way. So right here we have all of our ingredients laid out on the table. We're ready to start cooking. So right here we have some wholesome pantry. This is from ShopRite, but we get the lean ground chicken, one pound each. So there's eight of these here. That's eight pounds of ground chicken. We also have our veggies all laid out here. So we have a couple of bags each. Four bags of broccoli cuts. So four bags of this broccoli cuts. 
We have four bags of chopped spinach. We got about five bags of mixed veggies. These are really great. So we've got five of these big bags. We have one large can of black beans. We have some canned pumpkin, 100% pure pumpkin, just to put a teaspoon of that on top. And also to put on top of the food is some plain, just Greek yogurt. Actual recipe and ingredients list will be in the description box down below to make it very easy for you guys. You will also want to get yourself some freezer bags to store. We use quart sized freezer bags and that's the amount that we've been using so that we know how much food we're yielding for two weeks. And you're also gonna wanna have some canola oil because it is safe for dogs and we just don't want our chicken sticking in the pan. So we just need about a tablespoon of this in the bottom of the pot. Steph, you ready to get cooking? Let's get to it, honey. Okay, so we've got our large, I call this a sauce pot, but this is a pretty large pot. We have our eight packs of ground chicken right here. And Stefan is going to pour in our canola oil. So just a little drizzle enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And then I like to kind of just rotate it around the pan just to make sure that nothing is sticking. So a bin like this is also something that you might want to get just to mix everything together. This is a very large storage bin that we found at Target for like $10. So this is worth it just to kind of put everything all in one spot and mix it up before you package everything out. So right now, I'm just letting Jackson taste test a little bit of the chicken that we've made so far. Sit, good boy. So, so far that's a hit. And right now we're gonna start dumping our veggies into our big mixing bowl. I have some broccoli in here so far, so we're just gonna get started with that and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So we're gonna start mixing. We've got all of our veggies in here along with our chicken and our beans. So Steph is just gonna mix this all up and make sure everything's incorporated. And this is just another great item to have on hand. We got this at Petco. This is a one and a half cup silicone scooper. So we use this to package the food each week and it's collapsible like this. And we will just clip it sometimes onto our bin or onto bags of food. It's just super easy and convenient. guys so you saw the process from start to finish this is what your finished product is going to look like once everything is all packaged out we have 12 bags of pure homemade healthy scrumptious dog food and Jackson can't wait to eat 
But before we go feed the little pup, I wanted to tell you guys the purpose behind having the canned pumpkin and the Greek yogurt. So the canned pumpkin, you wanna make sure that you're getting 100% natural pumpkin. And this is to promote their gut health, actually. So pumpkin helps a dog's digestive tract, and it has enzymes in it that are supposed to keep the stool hard and not get runny, and just keep everything moving nicely through your dog's body. The Greek yogurt is very similar. It's a probiotic, so this is filled with live active cultures that help your dog to have good gut health, which is just really important, and you wanna make sure that in any dog, with any food that you're feeding. So upstairs, we also have two other supplements that we add to Jackson's food per meal. We add a scoop of the holistic canine wholesome pet vitamin, and we also add krill oil, and you can get both off of Chewy.com, so I will show you guys those when we feed Jackson. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey with us. We hope that you will stick around for more of our videos. And we really hope you enjoyed watching us make this dog food because it is something that we are both really passionate about and we want to give Jackson the best life possible and the best food possible. So this is what works for us. We hope that you will tweak it maybe and show us some of your creations that you decide to make. You can switch out any protein and any vegetable really. So you just want to keep those green leafy vegetables in there. You can see that the spinach is evenly distributed kind of throughout there and you can see the green. So that's what you want to do. But we really hope you guys enjoyed this. So thank you so much for sticking around and we hope that we will see you in our next video coming soon. Jackson this is the krill oil that we give Jackson so I'm gonna show you what we do we just pop the top here and we just do a little sprinkle around the edge of the bowl you can see Jackson's waiting and watching so we just put a good amount of that in there and then this stuff is fantastic this is also from chewy.com this is the holistic pet organics canine complete for total body health all-in-one supplement for dogs so we're just going to open up the top here. And this stuff is great because it has almost no flavor, so the dog really doesn't know that it's in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half a scoop. So half a scoop per meal and one full scoop per day. So we're gonna just sprinkle that all around. 